Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to introduce our work, New Techniques for Pairwise Symmetry Breaking in Multi-Agent Pathfinding. In this talk, I will first define what multi-agent pathfinding is, and then show conflict-based search, the algorithm for solving this problem, and the existing work uh, on symmetry reasoning for, for this problem. I will then show our new work, Code Symmetry Reasoning and Target Symmetry Reasoning, and last, show some experimental results. Multi-agent pathfinding, or for short, MapPath, is a problem finding collision-free paths for a team of agents. It has many real-world applications. For example, in the warehouse, people use mobile robots to, to move shelves between locations. So planning low-cost collision-free paths is important for the throughput of the warehouse. Other applications include multi-drone systems, vehicle control at intersection, or video games. To formally define this problem, we are given a graph, like here we have a four neighbor grid, and we are given a set of agents, each with a start location and a target location. We assume that at every time step, an agent can either move to a neighboring location or wait at its current location. We assume there are two types of collisions. The first one is called vertex collision, which happens when two agents stay at the same location at the same time step. The other is edge collision, which happens when two agents travel through the same edge in opposite directions at the same time step. Based on these assumptions, our task is to find collision-free paths for all agents and minimize the sum of their travel times. There are many algorithms for solving this problem optimally. For example, we can use A-star to search in the joint state space, or we can model the problem as an integer linear as a multi-commodity flow and solve it by an integer linear programming solver. However, since the joint state space grows exponentially in the number of agents, these methods usually do not scale well. Therefore, recently people have invented many new algorithms that deploy a strategy of planning passes individually first and resolving collisions afterward. And these methods are shown to be much faster than the previous methods. However, these methods suffer from collision symmetries, and if these symmetries are undetected, they could lead to unacceptable runtimes. Therefore, in this work, we studied two new class of collision symmetries and proposed symmetry breaking constraints to resolve these symmetries in a single branching step. Now, let me give, let me give you an example about how these strategies work and uh, how the symmetry looks like. CBS is an optimal map path solver. It first plans a short path for each agent by ignoring other agents. And like here, these two shortest paths collide at location B2 at time step 1. To resolve this collision, CBS says that either agent 2 cannot be at location B2 at time step 1, or agent 1 cannot be at location B2 at time step 1. In each case, it replans new paths to satisfy the new constraints. Like here, we plan for agent 2, and here we plan for agent 1, and then check for collisions again. If there are still collisions, we branch the, on these collisions again and repeat this procedure until we find collision-free paths. This is a very simple idea, right? But it's already shown that this idea works much faster than A star. So in this figure, the x-axis is the number of agents, and the y-axis is a success rate which is a solved instance within the time limit. So we can see that CBS has much better success rate than A star. However, in our last year's work, we show that CBS actually suffers from rectangle symmetry. So if we think about this example carefully, actually each agent has multiple shortest paths to reach its goal location. However, every combination of these shortest paths Lies somewhere inside this yellow area. And CBS actually has to try many combinations of these shortest paths and finally realizing that one of the agents has to wait for one time step to resolve all collisions between these two, two agents. Even worse, if the size of the, of the yellow area increases, like here, then the size of CBS tree also grows exponentially. In this work, we study new uh, two new types of uh, symmetries in map path. The first one is corridor symmetry. It happens when two agents travel through a narrow corridor in opposite directions. In this example, the two agents collide in the middle at time step 3. 
If we use CBS to solve it, CBS will say that okay, one of the agents has to avoid this colliding location at time step three. For example, if we add a constraint to agent one, then agent one will simply wait for one time step and re-enter the corridor again. Then these two agents collide at this location at time step three. If we resolve this collision again, then agent one will wait for two time steps and collide with agent two again. So this will be the CBS tree generated eventually. And the like rectangle symmetry, if the length of corridor increase, the size of the CBS tree grows exponentially. Therefore, to resolve this uh, collisions, uh, to resolve all collisions between these two agents, uh, we say that actually one of the agents has to use the corridor after the other agent. For example, if we let agent two to use this corridor first, then agent one can uh, can enter this corridor only after agent two left the corridor, and therefore. The earliest time step for agent 1 to travel through the corridor and reach location D3, this location, is time step 8, and same for agent 2. Therefore, we can branch this node by saying either agent 1 cannot be at location D3 at or before time step 7, or agent 2 cannot be at location A3 at or before time step 7. And in each case, when we replan the path, we can find collision-free paths immediately. And also, we can prove in theory that this pair of constraints preserve the optimality of CBS. We call these constraints range constraints. Another symmetry is called target symmetry. It happens when the shortest path of one agent travels through the target location of the second agent when the second agent has already reached its target location. Like in this example, the two agents collide at this location at time step 3. If we use CBS to resolve it and replan for agent 1, then agent 1 will simply wait for one time step and collide with agent 2 again at time step 4. And if we resolve the collision again, then it will wait for two time steps and collide with agent 2 at time step 5. So this will be the tree generated by CBS eventually. Like code symmetry, we want to define uh, we want to design a pair of constraints that can resolve all collisions between these two agents immediately. So instead of branching on the colliding location uh, directly, we branch, on the length we, branch, we branch on the path length of the second agent. We say that the, the path length of the second agent should be either no larger than 3 or larger than 3. So in the first case, if the path length of agent 2 is no larger than 3, then agent 2 has to stay at its goal location at and after time step 3, which implies that agent 1 cannot be at its location at and after time step 3. So we have this constraint for agent 1 that's blocking this location starting from time step 3. And then we can realize that, okay, in this case, there's no path for agent 1 to reach its goal location. So we can prune this node. And in the red child node, the Path of agent 2 should contain at least four time steps. Therefore, we can find a collision free path for the agent 2 directly, and the symmetry are resolved di directly. Uh, here we show some empirical results. So the x axis again is the number of, number of agents, and the y axis is the success rate. And r is rectangle symmetry, which is our baseline algorithm. C and t is corridor and target symmetry. We can see that in different domains, the improvement of corridor symmetry and target symmetry is different. But overall, uh, uh, they, they both improve the performance and the combination of them always performs the best. To summarize, in this work, we studied corridor and target symmetry for multi-agent pathfinding problem. We propose range and length constraints to eliminate corridor and target symmetries in a single branching step. We show experimentally that our techniques can, in some cases, more than double the success rate of CBS and reduce its runtime by one order of magnitude. And this ends my talk. Thanks for listening.